It's another edition of Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels TV, where we bring you the stories being talked about by the social media generation. I am Wale Fakile. So let's begin with our top story this week. Now, small businesses are recognized as the backbone of developed economies throughout the world. And in the past five years, it's the sector that has contributed nearly half of Nigeria's gross domestic product, while accounting for 50% of jobs in the industrial sector. But how do small and medium-sized companies navigate an environment that is, at times, harsh? Just Nigeria's Damilola Oduolu reports. With a population of more than 200 million, Nigeria is a magnet for business. Its markets are brimming with consumer goods and services, and entrepreneurs are reaping the rewards. In 2010, Nigeria Bureau of Statistics reported that small and medium-scale enterprises, or SMEs, contributed around 48% to the country's GDP in the previous five years. But whilst the figures are impressive, business owners say their experience is not. Some claim the business terrain is not as smooth as it could be, with social and economic obstacles hindering their progress. Ife Olua started her baking business with many hopes, hopes of expansion and business success. Today, her business is struggling. If it wasn't for passion, I might have quit. And um, when something gets challenging, when something gets tough, and you know, you, you begin to double think if you shouldn't find some other path. She's not alone in this situation. In 2018, a private investment company in Nigeria said about 80% of SMEs are stifled because of poor financing. You don't have venture capitalists in Nigeria. So you have a lot of creative ideas that does not require credit facility but requires equity investment. But you don't have the equity investment sources. But there are some success stories and some entrepreneurs are finding ways to keep their business afloat. Ademola runs a paint production business. Getting people to buy his paint posed problems, but he found a way around them. I offer painting services to people from screening, you know, wall repairs and remodeling. So, you know, when I meet people that, okay, this is what I do, I can paint, and they give me, okay, can you take this, get us the paint to use? Then, since I can manufacture paint, so I try to tell people that I can produce this paint myself instead of buying outside. 26-year-old Temi Tokwe runs a business in Lagos. To beat the high cost of renting a workspace, she converted her Facebook and Instagram pages to an online store. Sometimes we make up to 50, um, do 50 deliveries, both within Lagos and outside Lagos in a week. Sometimes if we do sales, it could be more than that because we do sales once in a while. But for a month, we can do like up to 200, 200 deliveries. The prospect of businesses may seem attractive, but experts say that is not enough for entrepreneurs to source for more funds to scale up. No matter how profitable a business proposal looks, do not bet your balance sheet on it. What do I mean by betting your balance sheet on it? You do not throw all your resources at it because you want to optimize your profit once. The business terrain may be tough, but there are processes in place that could help. Funding opportunities already exist within the system, but not many entrepreneurs know how to access them. Starting a business in Nigeria may seem daunting, but by arming themselves with information and creative solutions, entrepreneurs are empowering both their individual businesses and in turn, Nigeria's growing economy. Damilola Udwulu, GIST Nigeria.